everybody welcome to another star review this is season three episode two who is the daddy so um carlotta basically the episode starts off with carlotta is dreaming and she thinks she sees jahil but she wakes up and sees trey i want to say trey or some dude like that and and she's like what is he doing here and she says he needs a place to crash and she hides him uh, then we see Cassie, he like talks, she talks about Cassie, like Cassie's all about pride, she doesn't really care about anything, she's just about that. Star is at the doctor's office and Collada comes in and supports her. She wants Simone, her sister, to be a part of this baby's life, but, uh, she knows that her sister doesn't really like, like is not talking to her right now. And she gets to hear her baby's first heartbeat. And I just thought it was beautiful. Um, uh, Simone won't talk to Star. She's still mad at her because she thinks, Simone thinks that Star is just being all about herself. Um, but Mateo, that's the producer guy of Gravity Records, he wants to take, take three, he wants take three to deliver a hit. Like, they haven't put out music in a while and, sorry, there's all this stuff in the way. And, um, he basically wants them to put out a song and you know you can't rush art and he's trying to rush it uh the guy's wife i think her name is nina she looks kind of shifty like she looks like she got something planned i don't know what it is yet, but that's what it looks like cassie is a jealous woman she is jealous of her sister she she wants all those things but she just can't achieve them um but she's starting up her own record label um with this guy named maurice and they're gonna do it together and maurice is like how about we just like get like star and, and like cassie's like i don't want no little white girl i want the black i want a strong black woman on my label um alex is having some ptsd and she keeps looking at bianca's page to be honest i think the girl kind of died that's unfortunate um, Victor, I think that's Simone's husband. He looks like he's up to something. And, um, Simone is just waiting there, waiting for, um, Star and Alex. And she apologizes to Nina for what happened. Like, I think, like, she thought they did something. And Nina's like, oh, no, we didn't do anything. You know, you threw up and you got sick and I uh, you cleaned your clothes for you. And as y'all saw in the last episode, she just, uh, left. Mateo wants... Uh, Star and Noah to be in the movie together but um, Carlotta tells Nina and Mateo that Star cannot be in the movie because she is indeed pregnant and um, Star and Star, Alex and Simone are in the studio working on this new song and like Star can't focus like she's just thinking about herself Yeah, she's just thinking about herself, and she's seeing what all these people are saying about her, and then all of a sudden, the pregnancy pops up on Gravity Records' page, and she gets mad, and she goes in there, and she's like, I'm gonna sue you, no, wait, wait, I'm gonna kill you, no, I'm gonna sue you, and then, um, she says, she says she's gonna punch him, and, like, Carlotta's like, well, before you wanna hit somebody, hit me, I'm the one who told him. And Star looks like she's about to get sick, you know, the pregnancy, moon, moon, blah, 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 morning sickness. And instead of going to, she looked like she was headed towards the direction of a bathroom. But instead of doing that, she was so mad, she threw up on him. And she was like, you can take it out of my budget. Um, Let's see. So we see Miss Ruby. She's the grandmother of, I think his name is Derek. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to learn our domain. Oh, oh my gosh, I can talk learn all of their names she got sexually assaulted in her home and she's like really scared and the police come and say that she was indeed sexually assaulted and she needs to get a rape kit but she says no she's not leaving and then cotton you know she wants to know who the baby daddy is star got called a whore and so they're at like this press junket and everybody keeps asking who the baby daddy is and she don't want to tell nobody and Cotton's son, I forget his name, 
he was drawing a picture of poor children. Children nowadays just be drawing any and everything. But the picture was of like a guy getting hit, and it was Grandpa Jahil, and she never got he never got to meet or something like that. But basically, he like saved his life and instead of drawing a nice little picture like. How kids usually do he do him like that I don't know why kids some kids do that um, Alex is writing some lyrics and someone wants her to focus sorry can I focus on music I think I already mentioned that and you know Alex gets a phone call she has to leave um, so Noah I think his name is Noah yeah he asked like you know what just let me know if I'm a dad or not and she's like I'm not I did the numbers you're not the dad so got cancel him out I thought he was but never uh, Cassie just wanna so there's these cute looking handsome not cute come on these handsome looking men with all these abs 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 everywhere and I think she just wanted to check them out I'm sorry I got this a little confused now here's the press junket for you for real uh, there's like just like screen behind them and they keep asking like little questions and they're all po pointed towards star and basically she does not want to answer and she gets so mad and she tells them off you know what her little hormones and she says like it doesn't really matter who the baby daddy is uh and star's hormones are just getting out of control and simone is trying to check on her and of course star keeps going off on her saying like I bulldozed them so you wouldn't have to and she's trying to understand and um Alex is talking to Miss Ruby and she says like I'm going through PTSD right now because um there's this girl next to me on a plane named Bianca and instead of them saving her they saved me and I'm the reason why she died and Miss Ruby's trying to tell her like it's not your fault and then Alex is like it's not your fault that you got assaulted either and she was like, yeah, but I've had this home for like 20 years. And someone just going to come in here and do that to me. I don't feel safe in my home. I think that storyline is so sad. Especially now in this time and age. Especially in like politics where people are saying like this person did not get sexually assaulted when they know they did. Like some people just don't understand stuff. But anyway, anyways, Alex goes to talk to the nurse. He's, she's like that, that she's old and she really needs attention like right now and the male nurse goes see if he could find a female nurse uh, stars decides to work on the song and you know like her throatage is giving her a little problem and they start working on the song now that song however <sighs> that song is called Madonna it was beautiful I loved it like I could see myself dancing to it like I love that song and then um let's see so Alex goes not Alex star goes to tell the baby dad the baby dad I thought it was Noah it wasn't it was some blonde dude I don't know where he came from because as I said I miss some stuff but he's in shock he's smiling and Noah's dad like came to the door and she he invited him in I guess they had some issues in the past but that is it for this review. Next week's review, next week's episode, Chad, Chad Michael Murray, a.k.a. Uh, what was his name on One Tree Hill? Lucas Scott is going to be on Star. And Brandy, Brandy, a.k.a. Cassie, and Colada, a.k.a. Queen Latifah, are going to get in the fight. So we're, that's going to be pretty interesting. But anyways... Stay tuned. All I need is just five views, just five, and I'll review next week's episode. But I'll see y'all next time. Bye.